I want to dig into that a little bit because I think that's, um, you know, for a lot of really early stage companies, kind of knowing when you've found that product that is really resonating with people is like not really the most straightforward thing to answer. Um, and I feel like HashiCorp is a really interesting um you know, track on this, especially when you look at things like Terraform, which are now like just so dominant, but it really seemed very unobvious that it was going to succeed. Um, at least like probably for a really long time of it being built. Yeah. So like, can you talk a little bit about how, yeah, just, you know, when, yeah, how are you kind of evaluating? Like, is this really working? Like we think it is like you, you kind of have that secret at the very beginning, but at some point you get more and more sure about it, I guess. Yeah. It's something I talked to founders a lot about, um, because when we first launched like open source Terraform, um, our downloads were abysmal. Like it, it was just like, if you see the first two years, um, it didn't have much traction. Um, and I think that surprises people because people always uh, look at a company at where it is today, right? I mean, I think last, you know, the year before I, I watched like Dave McJanet, the CEO's keynote, and he said that all of the HashGrip tools were downloaded 250 million times. Uh, and that's just kind of like a wild number to think about. Um, but with Terraform, we actually scrapped the first version of it. So what we did really early on and what I tell a lot of founders is build out a really great kind of user feedback program. So we knew the first thousand people in our community by name. We knew them intimately, right? So we, we, there's a few things there, there, there are people that were contributing, right? There, there were those early adopters that were already kind of talking excited. There were kind of like the potential folks that we were reaching out to just to have like open dialogue feedback. So we had a pretty good, um, kind of feedback loop that we were getting feedback. So the first version of Terraform, we actually scrapped and, and, and rebuilt it. And I think that like surprises people, um, but yeah, it's I. You then start to see kind of so that so that was one with Terraform was that 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 like deep connections with those early community members, early anyone that even mentioned or, or had a question, we would do calls, build relationships with, and then we had to also educate a whole market on infrastructure as code, right? So so when we launched Terraform, no one actually knew what infrastructure as code was. So Mitchell and Armand for two years were just giving basic talks on that on that like subject. So that's also something interesting, right? If you're defining a new category and, and changing a way that a developer workflow and introducing a new tool, you, there's like, I always believe the first pillar of community building is education. 